So let's shift gears. Now I have, in between doing the last video, which was how to do version control for your SSIS packages, I have stripped that whole component out. I've uninstalled uh, SVN. That That's all gone. As I mentioned at the close of the last video, I, I didn't want anybody coming into this later on to be confused by it. There's a lot more to do with source code control, and maybe at some future date when I have all the time in the world, I'll sit down and do videos uh, just about doing source code control. Uh, for the time being, though, I, I think you've got enough to get the basics. Um, I think there's some really good books on doing source code control that, you know, it's up to you to kind of continue your learning. But you've got a basic idea, I think, and, and that's a good place to start. Let's continue now talking about how SQL Server Integration Services deals with secure information in our SSIS packages. Now let me talk about what I mean. Let me go ahead and open my Visual Studio, crack open that Chapter 3 project, and we've got a bunch of junk in it. I think I created a whole bunch of different packages here. Let's just go ahead and dump those out. Um, we had video two. And so this is what, uh, like I think, number five in this. So let's make video five. So new SSIS package, rename video five. Rename the object. Um, curious. Thankfully, this was on video. Um, you see it says package 1 DTSX here, yet it says video 5 here. Ha uh ha, -huh, okay. I wonder what happens if we close and refresh over here, um, which I actually can't do. Right? There's no refresh here. Huh. How weird. So sort them by name? That's See what happens when I open that package one. Okay. Rename video five. Worked. Yay. Curious. <laughs> Sorry for the diversion there. Uh, wasn't just me, though, I don't think. I believe you saw that happen as well. Anyhow, um, I'm a little bit thrown off by that. Uh, so what were we even doing? Um, we were going to talk about what sensitive information is. Well, you know, maybe you don't. I don't know if you do. Let me show you. You realize that there are two ways to work with your DTS <laughs> SSIS package. And that's either to view the designer, which is this side over here. That's what this the designer surface is. Or, hey, you know, like I can make an annotation over here that says, hi there. Okay. And so that gets saved with the package. Well, what I can also do is I could open the code view of this. And the code view, it's an XML file. And I can actually format this control K, control D. Um, oh, it's not going to let me do it here. Um, uh, one of the minor differences between using a full-blown Visual Studio XML editor and it knows already that this is a DTSX file. Um, but this is the actual package itself. And so we can actually see the content of the package um, and you can see variable information. We can see connections we can see all kinds of things that is uh, actually stored here in this XML file. So let's, um, let me close out of this side because I don't need to do that. I'm just back over here in the designer. Uh, we'll go ahead and save it. And sensitive information, like I'm going to go to the toolbox and I'm going to add a data flow task. And I'm going to go to my data flow task, and I'm going to add an OLEDB source. And I'm going to create a new connection. And I'm going to create that connection based on my local server. I'm going to use a, a, a 
account. I don't even know if I have that turned on. I'm going to tell it to save the password. And let's see. Yay. We'll use that. Okay. Um, I say okay. Okay. Use uh, whatever table. I don't care. We'll use that one and those columns and, you know, dump it out to a flat file. And, oops, and I'm just junking this up. I'm not really worried about, I'm not ever going to run it. Uh, I just want to get to where I can show you the XML file because I want to show you what actually gets stored and what I mean by sensitive information. So put it um, just here dot text and yes, blah, 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 etc. Um, fine, do our mappings. Okay, save the file. So that's sensitive information we now have in this package, right? I stored for my connection for AdventureWorks, I stored the SQL Server username, the SQL Server login name, and I stored the password. That is very, very important. So here's the question. Somebody gets a hold of that actual file. So they are able to get to your machine or to the, where they have the packages. They go to the project. They go into that file, video 2 or video 5, and they open it with a text editor. Instead of opening it with Visual Studio and seeing that designer, what are they going to get? Are they going to see your SA password? Let's take a look. I'm going to change uh, from the program, and I'm just going to open this with Notepad, for example. Um, I think most people will be familiar with that. And take a look at what we can see. Here is the connection. There's the object. Right? DTS password. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. The password is encrypted. Do you see it? Thank you, Mr. DTS slash SSIS. The password is, wait a minute, what is this sensitive one bit? Right? An encrypted equal one. Well, clearly those are bits, meaning true and false, right? Well, here is that password. It's actually a pretty long password. Okay? So now you can see the name, the SA is the name of this, and we can see our connection manager. This is secure information. This is the kind of thing we don't want somebody getting to. Uh, for example, we could do a find, and we could say find SA. There's one. Uh, user ID equals SA. Okay, very bad. Uh, so we don't want that kind of thing. So it has chosen that the password is the sensitive information, not the user ID, but that the password was the sensitive information. You might want more.